Hi, the episode for the final part of Chrono Trigger should have played by now. Uh, like, this should be near the beginning of it. This isn't the recording session for it or anything. I just wanted to show off fucking Robo being a scarecrow in the Middle Ages. Because <clears throat> once he's done that side quest, uh, you can come back here anytime you will find him. Because he's always there until the forest is done. But I just, I've never seen this before. So I just kind of wanted to show it off. So, sorry for wasting your time. But here I am. There you go. Have fun. Bye. Enjoy the video. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Chrono Trigger. Today, if everything goes as planned, should be the final episode of Chrono Trigger, the final recording session. So today, we are going to take on the Black Omen, and then we're going to take on Lavos. Whoo, boy, um, it has been quite a journey. So let's get going, no time to waste, right? No time like the present. All right, so for the Black Omen, I'm going to bring me, Isla and Meryl, and before we actually get into the in-depth problem of the Black Omen, I just wanted to show off a few cool things. Ooh, actually, let me check that gear is a-okay. So, I'm pretty sure you can do better than the ruby armor. I'll give you the black vest. And then you have the prismarine dress. Mm, okay. I'm actually fine with you having this. Alright, Black Omen. Here we go, welcome to the Black Omen that towers over everything in the sky. Know this, the mighty Lavos reigns here. Relax, poor creatures, the mighty Lavos has already consumed this world's life energy. Oh, that's a bit different. So now we have to fight these laser guards. Not the hardest thing in the world. Um, but, that being said, uh, in the DS version, uh, instead of... Could you stop for like two seconds? We're gonna get shot a lot here. Um, in the DS version, she basically comes out and says like, Hey, you're too late. Why did that one explode? What the hell? Okay, weird, but I... That one didn't. I don't know why that one exploded. Dick move, if you ask me. Uh, okay, well, cool. Counterattack for the win. Ooh, yay, more level. Um, but then, yeah, this door will be locked. She, she basically says that Lavos is already awakened and she's basically won. So there's no point in trying to <clears throat> in trying to stop her in the palace. So you can't actually fight the Black Omen from this time period. However, we can go back several ages. Uh, it's also not there in Prehistoric Age because the Black Omen appeared in the Dark Ages. We literally watched that happen. So, and the, you can fight the Black Omen as many times as you'd like. You can only fight certain bosses in it, like, one time. But the final boss of the Black Omen, you can keep going back in time. Mm, pardon. You can keep going back in time to fight. So, yeah, it's, it's whatever. But I think we're just going to take one attempt from where it all started, and we're going to annihilate this thing. And it's open. Still waiting for Lavos to awaken. Hello. Fucking the queen. Fools, haven't you learned your lesson? We are immortal. We shall live forever with Lavos who devours this planet even as he sleeps. During this planet's power, Lavos will rule the world in a mere 14... Yeah, 14,000 years. The Black Omen is a path which leads to Lavos. It is a shrine which provides us with limitless power. As long as the Mighty One reigns, your dreams are hopeless! 
And here we go, the first boss of the Black Omen. I think it's called like Blue Mutant or some shit. You should sacrifice yourself to the my lavas! Ah ha 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 ha! And she goes, she warps. The Mega Mutant. So, actually. Oh shit. That's really high pitched and annoying. Don't mind me as I turn that down oh so slightly. Oh fuck. She's confused. We're just gonna heal everyone up super quick. Holy shit, this thing is like uber powerful. It was not this hard on the DS version, but oh well, right? So I've actually never, never, ever, ever played uh, the Black Omen until now. Like, I played it once on the DS version, but that happened also very recently. Oh my god, would you fucking stop for a second? I mean, yeah, attack Isla all you want. Here we go, final kick. This is what I wanted to do. Final kick is a really good single target attack move. If that wasn't abundantly clear. Could you fucking not, bro? I think we're just gonna do Aura Wall super quick. And then I think we'll just... Fuck me. I was gonna say triple kick, but then it appears that I'm a little too late to triple kick. Hey, that works though. We will take that. I thought I bought a couple time hats. That, you know, prevent all status ailment. I'm going to have to do some re-equipment near the end of this battle. Triple kick, baby! It's such a good move! I was kind of hoping for a crit, but whatever, right? Fuck it. I'm done with this fight. <laughs> Let's end this goddamn fight. So, the final triple kick is a really strange move because it takes 20 MP from Isla, but like 5 from Chrono and Marl. Which is really good because that leaves them a lot of wiggle room for healing. Don't I have, like, time hats or whatever the hell they're called? Uh, no? Oh, I have a fuck ton of gold. Fuck this! <laughs> fuck this whole thing! I will be right back. Because I'm gonna go get some hats. Okay, I am back. Uh, I got a couple of the hats that prevent all status ailments. Right? That's what these fucking things do? Yeah, uh, according to the fucking entry, protects against status, which I assume means all status. Ah, these guys. So if you remember way back to the beginning of the game, the uh, the prison keep guys. Yeah, you have to wait before for them to poke their head out before you can actually do damage to them. Okay, a peeping doom. <laughs> what a great name. Yeah, this is why you can't attack them because they do lock you out of all of your techs, which is fine. On their own, they're not that big a threat. Oh, it missed. Fun. I'm guessing the game doesn't consider lock to be a status ailment, which is really weird. Get that peeping doom. Oh, they have a different name. Oh, weird. So when they're facing you, they're incognito. But when they're out like that, they're peeping doom. What an amazing name, by the way. Ah, yes. Okay, so we are just gonna super quick. Okay, yeah, I assumed that wouldn't work. It never hurts to try, though. Heal, heal, and heal. Perfect. Fight me! So here we have some turrets. I think that name is Martello. Oh, I could be absolutely wrong with that. Holy shit, look at that damage. That's why we use the rainbow, boys. Ow. 
Yay! Crit counter for the win! Holy crits, Isla. What the hell? So, uh, a couple things I'd like to talk about. There's some things in this playthrough I haven't been able to show off. Um, oh my god, they're chonky as all get out. The goons! <laughs> what the fuck? Why is their name the goons? <laughs> who, who did this? Uh, if I remember correctly, the goons don't take damage from magic attacks? Which is fine. I just also don't know if that's true. <laughs> so, I'm not gonna risk it. Here, 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 here. Wow, these things were named so much better in the fucking DS version. Not the enemy names, the move names. He should be dead, yeah. Good! Let's get his ass. So these things are really bad because of confusion, but like, other than that, they're not that big a threat. Just don't use magic on them, because that heals them. You just slash and burn, really. Okay. Fun, fun. Okay. Easy GG. A couple things I want to talk about. Isla uh, actually has a different pair of weapon equipment. Because you know how like we're changing swords and whatnot. Isla just punches people really hard. And if you get her to, I believe the level is... Uh, I believe the level is 99. She can actually get... I think they're called Golden... Uh, the Golden Fists. Oh my god, I'm hiccuping so badly. Alright. Um, but the Golden Fist basically just power up her special moves. She does a fuck ton of damage. She needs the super high crit. But hey, it's whatever. Like, oh, that sort of just killed. Okay. I mean, Pog, right? Um, yeah. There's like a couple of ultimate weapons. I forgot to get and bring up. Actually, actually, no, I think I have every ultimate weapon. Um, I don't know, there's not much else to talk about. The game is almost over. It's really fun. There was a, uh, a fan game being made. We're being attacked by the walls, by the way. The panels. Um, but there was a fan game called, like, Crimson Echo or some shit like that. Uh, that I firmly intend to play at some point. Just because it's like, it looks super cool, and I have more than down. Seven damage. What a bitch. Why am I glowing like that? Is that the prism dress? Because if that's the prism dress, that's really fucking useful. Because Mara already has a super high magic defense, and that green glow means that all physical damage is cut in half. Yep, okay, there's that. There's going to be a lot of that, so... Right? Oh, cuts magic damage by a third. That's fine. We're fine. Okay. You know, I bet there's some sort of, like, combination of gear. Where you can remove confusion. Oh, ah. And then that, in turn, would allow you... What the fuck? If it cuts magic damage by a third, why am I only taking seven damage from these missiles? Mmm. I smell something glitchy. I smell something not fully programmed within the game. Putting that black panel on Chrono was an excellent move. Because he's healing a lot. Oh, hello, son of sun. Prometheus. It's not. These things are essentially tech grinders. It's the same as rubble or the, the gun turrets on the airship. First things first, you gotta kill these things and then you can get the sidekicks. And the sidekicks are the ones that are hard to hit but give them all the experience. So, we're literally just gonna sit here and mash A. And then they'll either run away or die. God fuck, it looks like Runaway is what they're going to be doing. 
Okay. God damn you. There we go. That should just kill it. Hell yeah. At least we got one. The other one's totally gone. Yeah. He's fucking gone, dude. There you go. A lot of money, a lot of experience. All at once. Uh, if I hit this button, I should be able to trade out party members. Okay, my question is this. Who do we want at the end game? Because right now, I think that answer is Chrono Marl Frog. Isla's only here because she's super... She just, like, makes this final fight of this fucking labyrinth a breeze. She just eats them for dinner. 